Yeah, dude, it hasn't been that good since that last swell from that hurricane in Baja, dude. Yeah, it was intense. Dude, you're not gonna believe this, but I caught this outrageous wave way inside, man. So this is how it went. I dropped in, saw the bowl section, bottom turn, almost got pitched when this little kid in like this grommet cook comes pounding through the lineup. So I had to go around it. It made me totally miss the section. But the wave was so fast, I drained it all the way back to the shoulder. Yeah, I do. Yeah, it was gnarly, bro. I felt royally stoked. And the scenes just kept on coming, you know? Yeah, dude, I wish you were there, man. I mean, it was perfect. All right, see you next time. Tell me about yourself. Hi, my name is Cindy Jacobs. We already know that. You're looking at my application. Um, well, I go to Lincoln High, and next year I'm going to be in love with grade. Oh, yeah, I have a brand 3.9 average, and I'm on the softball team. It's really fun. Next year, I'm going to try it for the drill team. Uh, I was secretary of the honor society and girls of the voluntary team. What else? Oh yeah, well, I like reading a lot in jazz dance, and I really love to cook. My mom lets me make dinner about three times a week, and it's really fun. Well, I kind of have to because my brother doesn't get home until 7.30, and usually my brother and sisters are very hungry. Um, oh, and I really love people. When I was 14, oh yeah, I dressed up as an Easter Bunny and gave balloons out to customers. It was for a spring sale or something. You know, you know what I mean? Yeah, okay. It was just, it was really fun, but it was kind of, you know, something else. Take, talking to people and stuff, so I really think I'd be good at this job. And besides, I really love McDonald's french fries. Welcome to the show. Today we're very happy to have Dr. Wenzel William Washington Jefferson to the ninth power with us. Hello, Dr. Wenzel. Why, hello, everyone in the audience, I guess. Thank you for being with us. We're just really excited. We hear that you've had an amazing discovery and you wanted to tell us about it. What's, what's going on? Well, as you can see right here, it's this. Wow, that's amazing. Well, it's a magical floating ball that I happen to found in a conveniently someone sitting right across from me's backyard. What? In my backyard? I can't believe it. You can't believe it. I mean, it was pretty oblivious. It was right there on the ground, but I should know it was floating off the ground. What am I thinking? Wow, it's pretty much a like, natural phenomenon. Do you have any idea how it works? Magic. Wow. Do it's a magic think... flowing ball. Of course it's going to be powered by magic. What does it do? It obviously 
floats. Yeah, do you have to do anything to make it float like that? Well, in order to maintain its floatiness, you have to do this like a couple times, maybe give it like a death stare. Just like... but wow, how often do you have to do that? It depends, sometimes for a couple seconds to a couple days. It's kind of uh, takes a lot of maintenance or can anyone just, you know, have one of these? It takes a lot of focus. I see. You've really got to be focusing on it and thinking about the ball starting on the ground and then going to the moon. That's what I do at least. So you have to keep your eye on the ball? Pretty much. Basketball rules. And focus. Yes, which are test rules. Are you good at focusing? No, I am not. Well, then it would be, uh, you know, maybe helpful to have one of these to, to keep your focus you know, sharp. Well, how I make it, how I focus on this is I take a bunch of things I hate, put them around my room, and then start looking at this. Wow, how does that work? Um, well, I despise everything else I put around my room, so I normally end up looking at this. And that oh. allows me to focus, allows me to do this more, and allows the ball to rise and maintain floating. Great. So will you uh, be d putting the ball on display? No, this is mine. It's for TV purposes only. Just saying. Wow. Well, we're so uh, happy you brought the magic ball with you, and we hope you'll uh, come back on our show sometime. I hope I will, too. Thanks so much, Dr. Wenzel. And I hope I can see you, America, some other time. in school today? Yeah, a couple people have been bullying me and they won't stop. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Well, we're going to have to do something about that. I invite you over for our birthday to Great America. Oh, I guess I not. need to talk to you guys. What, what do, do you, want? you want? I really don't want you guys talking about me behind my back and like pushing me down, taking my stuff and stuff. And I hope you guys have the dignity to stop. What a banger.
times. And you don't just do these times one day a week. Try to do it like five days a week. It helps you get better at the shot. Go. Some of the moves I showed you guys earlier, I'm going to use on my guest Logan here. Logan's going to try to steal the ball from me, and I'm going to use some of the moves I showed Like that one. Ready? Let's go. Oh, that's pretty good. Like that. You use some of the moves like that when the defender's on. Hey, look. Let's see you try to drop the right side. Awesome. Like I did earlier. Like that. Simple as that. Try to throw the ball like that. Do it one more time, Logan. Let's go. Right here. Alright, I'll stop. 3, 2, 1, go. Yeah, we'll like that. Sweet and sour pork, prison style. The so first you want to do is you're going to peel your meat logs. You want to cut them. You want half an inch. You want to get six of them. All right. So now you're going to want to get your ramen noodle. This is so professional. And you're going to want to crush it up prison style too. So just on the ground like this. Over. And this is all you're going to hear in prison, just all day, just this. So just do it, that's all, crush. Okay. Hey, 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 you ain't worth it. So then you're going to want to cook your noodle. You're done. While the noodles are cooking, you're going to want to crush up your pork rinds. Just a little bit. And then you're going to later put it. There. Yum yum. Alright, so now this is your finished product. You have cooked noodles. The first thing you want to do is you want to put in your pork rinds and then you want to put in your, your uh, I don't know what they call it, Kool Aid and steak mix. And then you want to put in your meat logs and a little bit of sriracha, just a little bit to give it some spice. And I'm gonna you're going to mix it up and it's going to be done and I'll show you that right now. It's also important to note that you don't put too much Kool-Aid in because that can make it taste gnarly. So now I'm going to put the meat logs in. This is sweet and sour pork jail style. It has sriracha pork rinds, Kool-Aid with steak powder that came with ramen noodles. Ramen noodles! And Oh, I put a lot of water in. Oh, and meat logs. So I hope I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you. I I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you. Really, I hope you later in the future uh, want to learn how to make this. I hope that when I bring it, y'all like it. I'm gonna try some. I'm gonna try some right now. Um, it's gonna be a live, live reaction. Mmm. Mmm. Ooh. That 
that tastes amazing. This is like candy. All right. Later, y'all. I hope y'all enjoy. Kiss me hard before you go Summertime sadness I just wanted you to know The baby the best I got my red dress on tonight Dancing in the dark in the pale moonlight Done my hair up real big beauty queen style Heels off, I'm feeling alive. Oh my god, I feel it in the air. Telephone wires above, a sizzling like a snare. Honey, I'm on fire. I feel it everywhere. Nothing scares me anymore. Kiss me hard before you go. Feeling electric tonight Cruising down the coast Going about 99 Got my bad baby By my heavenly side I know if I go I'll die happy tonight Oh my Here we are. Tell me again what you do. I read the paper holding it up. So <laughs> it's in my face. Yeah, yeah, go on. Uh, engine off. If anybody comes, I won't let them. But what if a cop comes? Nobody's going to bother you. You're parking legally. You got any change? For what? The meter. <laughs> <laughs> Former student, Preston Ward, he was in the drama class in 2001. Preston is a graduate of Long Beach State, and now he's pursuing a career and making movies in Los Angeles. Hello, Cambrian filmmakers. My name is Preston Ward, and 15 years ago, I was in Mr. Butler's drama class, if you can believe that. 
Um, Mr. Butler has been a, a friend to me and a mentor uh, throughout these years, and we even uh, did a little short together. As you can see, he's looking pretty fly there. Um, uh, I hope that you all have a great time uh, at your digital film festival. I hope that you all uh, worked hard and were able to be creative. And uh, if you ever pursue uh, a career in film or acting, give me a call. Me and Mr. Butler can help you out. I'm having the time of my life down here. And uh, if you do not choose to go that route, I still hope that you found some fun and some creativity in what you did. And I hope that you enjoy it. Big shout out to Mr. Butler, my friend. All you guys have fun today. under the rubble. No news yet of the initial cause of the fire, however police are blaming a ruptured gas line that ran beneath the east wing. The source of the damage originated in Basios Labs, a company with branches in almost every facet of physics research. The explosion... You'd think you'd invented nicotine. Here I thought you quit. Yeah, you're right. We always drank to health, didn't we? I drank to everything. So, look. You know I work nights now and it's been a long one. If you wanted to catch up, you would have scheduled outside your morning coffee hour. So what's this really about? Always straight to the point. I want to talk about cold fusion. <laughs> Successful cold fusion. Cloud of the suspect will be released and so you can talk right now. Yeah, how many news allowed in the back about the match's permission? I don't think you heard me when you see so you can talk right now. Maybe you didn't hear me when you see so you can talk right now. Sorry. Wait, Carter. Lee, I can't hear. I know, so violence will solve none. Now, as the Chinese say, all great battles are won without fighting. Yeah. Calm down and put this. You don't want to be friends with oh. And how is that okay? I'm God not damn. damn. Yeah. All right, now, I'm going to beat the puberty out of y'all. Oh, y'all ain't going to see it coming. Y'all ain't going to see it coming. What? Three, two, one, go. All right, friends, me in love. Got time to show me some respect around here. Please help me, this boy got a head like Barry Bonds. Alright, we're gonna like funny black man. Man, I love Chinese people. Hey, old man, we're gonna be asking damn questions around here. Who are you? I am you. No, not me, you. Yes, I am you. Are you deaf? Excuse me? I need to see so use locker right now. I said wait. There's no oh. Okay. All right, no, okay, ready? Three, two, one, go. Whoa! Damn! <laughs> All right. <laughs> Who are you? I am you. Not, not you and me. Oh. Zero. Oh. One, uh -huh. go. Uh-huh, funny black man.
back, what you got in the pack of weed, spending when you're shopping, dog. Why you wanna go flex, like you're all in the mix, like you got some shit popping up? I get some miles, I can see it in the movies, and I wanna make a flick for the camera. I'm gonna be Kim Kardashian, heard I was living like a bachelor. I ain't got no time.